Since many of you have been asking how I keep houseplants in my aquariums, I figured it's time I finally showed you. You might be surprised to find out that most plants can be kept this way. This is what's called hydroponics. With most houseplants, overwatering can lead to rot. So how do they stay alive in so much water? This is where hydroponics comes in. With this method, we circulate nutrient and oxygen rich water around the roots of the plants. If you overwater a potted plant, the excessive standing water leads to root rot. My favorite types of plants that I have kept in an aquarium are parlor palm, maiden hair fern, alocasia, peace lily, monstera, asparagus cetaceous, asparagus falcatus, and ficus ginseng. Once you've got your plant of choice, you must first prepare it before placing it in the aquarium. It's important to thoroughly clean the roots so there's no soil or other contaminants left. Next up is anchoring. So where and how should you anchor the plant? In most cases, you can simply use driftwood and rocks and stick the plant in the gaps. If you're working with a bigger plant, you might want to consider tying it so it doesn't fall over. It's very important that the water doesn't reach any higher than the soil did. If the stem is underwater, it might rot. Place the plant by the filter outflow so the roots always get fresh, oxygen-rich water. This guarantees that the plant is well taken care of. So here are just a couple of reasons why you should consider putting your houseplants in an aquarium. On one hand, because it looks dope. The overgrown roots are a sight to behold underwater. It also provides shade for the fish, which they love. Take this into account when planting your aquatic plants to make sure they get enough light. Or alternatively, pick plants that don't need it. And finally, it helps filter the aquarium by taking up the excess nutrients that might accumulate. This lets you change the water less frequently Experiment. Try things out. Think outside the aquarium. Let me know your thoughts on hydroponics in the comments below. And if you like this video and want to see more, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. Even a quick like helps out a ton. Thank you.